Hey folks, welcome to the Clear Creek Cabin. You may have seen in one of my other videos that um, I had built a homemade backhoe dolly for the uh, 260B backhoe on my 1025R tractor. It seemed to work okay, it wasn't great. Uh, made it out of two Harbor Freight dollies. Uh, again, at the recommendation of some folks on the uh, on the internet, um, you know, out there on YouTube, and um, it, it seemed to be okay. I could I could offload the the backhoe onto the dollies, okay, but it just couldn't really move the dollies around. I think maybe it might have been the casters that were on the uh, two little dollies that you know I built it out of, but it just doesn't seem to work very well. Um, I had kind of agonized whether or not I wanted to buy the BX expanded. Um, dolly versus building one to begin with so I said well you know $200 versus you know 50 60 bucks to build one so I went ahead and built it, it worked okay took it off and on a few times uh, while uh, using the post hole digger uh, for the uh, for the uh, tractor but uh, now that I've got the new box blade I want to uh, I want to be able to get the backhoe off and on really really easy because I'm going to need to do that when we get ready to do the field up here that we're going to seed this year. Um, I'm going to need to get dirt, spread dirt out there using the front bucket. Uh, I may have to dig up a couple little rocks here and there using the backhoe. And then I'm going to need to break out the box blade and box blade it all out. And I may have to jump back and forth between the box blade and the backhoe frequently in order to get the whole project done. So um, having the other uh, wooden dolly just didn't seem to work real well and I wasn't real happy with it. So. What I'm going to do for you is I'm going to unbox the BX Expanded one today and uh, show it to you. And then I'll show them side by side so you can see and make up your own mind. Um, I'm hoping that the $200 investment that I made with BX Expanded is going to be worth it. And it's going to make it a lot easier to take the backhoe um, off the tractor now. So we'll see. So come on along. We're going to uh, unbox this today. I just got it last week. I haven't had time to open it up. Been really busy here at the farm. Like there's gonna be very much to assemble it. No instructions. Interesting. Maybe they're on the outside of the box in the packing with. Nope. No packing list. Okay. Well, I'm assuming. There's two swivel dollies. And two stationary dollies. And they have the same footprint. So I guess I'm going to assume that the stationary ones go on the back. Okay. Looks like a half inch uh, wrench and a half inch socket will uh, do the trick.
also going to need a uh, ratchet socket extension, a little uh, three inch one or two uh, half inch wrenches. Okay, that's it. I think we got it right having the uh, stationary ones on the back that make the most sense because that way you can put it right up underneath the tractor and then uh, pull it out and then be able to maneuver it. So we'll uh, see how it compares to the, uh, the wooden one I built. I think this will be a lot easier. I've watched on videos. I think it's going to be a lot easier. Hopefully well worth the 200 bucks. So here they are side by side. Let's uh, Let's take a look to see how close I came to building my dolly next to the BX Expanded. One of the things is the width is 26 inches here, and the width here is almost 29, 30 inches. That may also play a part in it as well. Um, looking at the height of it, this is eight and three eighths, almost eight and a half. And to this rail here, which is actually the one that's going to sit, is almost the same. Eight and a little higher, eight and three quarters it is. Yeah, eight and three quarters. So there is about a, uh, about a uh, half inch, three eighths of an inch difference between the two heights. That may make the difference here, too, because the actual backhoe sits on top of here and connects into these pieces here. So that could have been some of the problem. Maybe it was too far down. It was sitting down and you know dropping off of the tractor. It wasn't snug up enough in order to be able to uh, slowly and easily roll off of the uh, off of the tractor. Now, from the distances, to the beginning of the first bar there, we're looking at 42 and a quarter inches, and I'm at 41. Now I had measured that out, and I don't know if that made a difference. Maybe having the back hoe too tight together wasn't able to do it. Don't know. But uh, these were kind of the dimensions I pulled off from other folks on the internet. So um, we'll see if that makes a big difference. So this is what you get for 200 bucks. This is what you get for, oh, I'd say it was 40 plus tax, a couple pieces of wood, 50, 60 bucks with the bolts and screws and nails. So uh, that's the difference between the two. We'll uh, just have to compare and see which one does better. I think it's probably going to be this one. And uh, the nice thing about it is, is that it's kind of convenient. I think it's actually heavier. Um, I thought it might be lighter than, uh, I don't know, they're about the same weight. No, actually the BX is a little heavier, a little heavier than this. What I'll be able to do with this, though, would be a lot easier. Um, I think what I can do is create a space on the wall and uh, be able to hang this up on the wall. Take a couple hooks, hang that up on the wall to get it out of the way. Biggest thing that you have with uh, biggest thing that you have with these tractors is uh, is having enough space to be able to put all your stuff. I've got a pretty good sized barn here, 24 by 32. Of course, filled with hay with the donkeys and all, but uh, got to have room to store stuff. So we'll see how it goes. We'll put it on.
So today we're going to try the new BX Banded Dolly. Uh, we'll see how it compares to the uh, wooden one I built uh, some time ago. I used it all last summer. Uh, we'll see how it uh, compares to that. Let's check it out today. Wow, that seemed a lot easier than with the wooden one. It immediately just tilted right off and came off the hooks where the backhoe hooks on the tracker uh, came off really easy. I had to struggle with that a few times with the wooden one. But uh, let's disconnect it and see how easy it rolls. Sorry about the dirty backhoe. <laughs> I've been really busy. I haven't had time with the cold weather and all to even wash the tractor. I feel bad. Uh, we'll get a nice warm day here. We'll clean things up a little bit. Let's, uh, let's relieve some of the pressure on this. should do it. Good to have an old pair of socks. This is always a little tight in here. Okay. All disconnected. Let's see how it rolls. Oh wow, what a huge difference. I think you saw in the uh, video where I showed you putting using the wooden dolly, how difficult it was for me to even get it started, get those casters turned around and pulled off. This is so much easier. Um, so I think I've made the right decision by buying the BX banded uh, unit. I think it's well worth the extra money.
heck of a lot easier putting it back on as well. One of the things about when you put this on, it's got to be exactly straight, as you guys probably know. Um, I don't know. I think maybe early on I may have bent or, or misaligned one of the forks that actually hold it in place. So I've got to be really careful about snugging it in there and dropping it down on. As you could hear, as it dropped down on, it kind of slammed in. Now, I don't know if you guys have had that experience, if that's what you notice that happens all the time whenever you go to put it on. But with mine, it just seems to just doesn't roll in smoothly. It kind of goes in and then it kind of falls down in. I think maybe because the two hooks that actually hold the backhoe up may not be perfectly aligned or maybe I'm not getting, getting it lined up this way. But um, it works real well. I like it. I think it's well worth the extra uh, couple hundred bucks. Please subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Hit the notifications bell so we can let you know when the next video is coming up. Uh, I think the next one's probably going to be the uh, new chicken wing edition. Uh, we're just about finishing that up. Then the one after that's probably going to be um, working on the pasture out there with the box blade. Uh, and I've got a real treat coming up uh, in the middle of April, uh, kind of a tribute to a family member. Um, and I'll, uh, I'll share that with you later on. That'll be great. So talk to you next time. Appreciate it. Thanks for stopping in. God bless and take care until next time.